Oh, again, this is uh, Jimmy, Mad Scout. We're going to uh, attempt to uh, do a zebra midge. Need a 18 gauge uh, trout hook. It's just something of that fit nature. Sitting here figuring it out, trying to uh, how to put the bead on to put it in a vise, something like that. Use whatever color, gold, black, titanium, whatever your bead color bead you want. The bead has a, a, a small opening and then a large opening. You want to put the small opening toward the head. If I don't, and this is harder than putting panties on a cat. So I'm going to attempt to do this the easy way. Uh, trying to hook it without dropping it up in the floor. So I think I just dropped it in the floor. Uh, yeah. Anyway, just, uh, Bear with me a second and uh, we get another bead out here. And uh, we'll try this again. This is a beads I'm using. Can't see for the glare of the light. There we go, right there. Okay, all right. Cool, I'm gonna put my light back up here. Make sure we can find the bead. Give us another one. The beads are so, hard, so little, they're hard to see anyway. And drop them in the floor to take a... That's it. Somebody from Ferngully have to come get them. All right, let's try this again. I did this a minute ago, and uh, it worked out great, but for some reason, it's not so great this time. Uh... Trying to find the right end. That's the big end. That's the little end. Slide it right up there. And uh, well, wherever it went. Right there. It's kind of hard to speak. I don't know if you can see that bead on there or not, but uh, it's on there. Trust me. See, it don't fall. So now we're gonna have to uh, put our, bead, our uh, hook back in the clamp with the bead. So all we wanna do is just catch the end of it right next to where the barb is. And uh, there we go. Now, I'm gonna shed some light on the situation here. See if we can do it. Yeah, that's my great niece in the background. So if she, she starts screaming and hollering, just bear with us. And uh, we'll get this thing done up. All right. I'm using black thread for this. And uh, she's going to yell and scream because she's a uncle baby. So, all right, what we're going to do is we can take this black thread. We're going to pull it out here a little bit before we get a little bit going. We're going to start right here at the head. And we're going to wrap enough to hold that. Now, our tail right here. We're gonna hold it at a uh, at a forty five degree angle, somewhere a forty degree angle, somewhere. So, putting that thread on there, we're supposed to keep that bead against the head. Just have to wrap a little bit to get it to stay. All right, now let's go back down the body here real quick. And we want to go just about to the bend there. Okay. And the reason I'm holding that tail up is uh so it all can you see that? That's contrasted against the door back there, maybe. That's gonna focus the door. Alright, anyway, here we go. That is too bright. Now you can see it. Maybe I should do it like that then. We don't need to stick on that. So anyway, we're gonna cut the tail off. All right, dunk, got that. All right, now they're gonna find that ain't gonna too bad. Okay, all right. If I screw up this, 
and you're going to see me screw up, and we're going to post it anyway. But I see a lot of videos out there that people don't show their mistakes, and I think we all learn from our mistakes better than we do successes because we, if we succeed all the time, then we, uh, we don't really learn. We already got it down, right? So I, I've got some uh, copper wire here. That's going to be my rib. So, and I'm going to turn this around here. And y'all going to think I'm crazy, but this is the easy way for me to do this. And y'all probably still can't see that, though. All right, let's do it. Yes, I'll fake it. All right. Like that. Like this. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this right there, and I'm going to pinch it. And I'm going to pop it right down on it. Well, I was going to. Let's try it again. I'm going to try to get that to stay on top. Well, anyway, we got... I'm going to run that up. And uh, it's just going to add a little more weight to it. It's all right. All right, we got that bead. All right, we got a wire. We got a bead, right? Now we got to decide... Something else here. That's better. I like to build my body up and taper it a little bit, which is my preference. I've tied not many of these, but since it's on like the second or third time I've done it, uh, I think it looks better with a little bit of a body on it. Okay. And it, uh, it is quite a pain. To get going here. All right. Here we go. Now. Okay. Now I'm terminating this right at the head. I'm going to pull this down. Out of the way. Okay. Now we did that clockwise, right? This. I'm going to do counterclockwise. Okay. If I can get it over here. And you can. Space them, you know, once you got between four and six ribs on there, hey, you'll be all right. And I hope you can see that because that's coming out pretty good. And we're going to wrap right up to the head, okay? Just like so. So I get it right back up. I'm going to get stand up like that. And I'm going to take this and hold this wire over here. Let's back this off one loop, okay? I'm going to take this wire, and I'm going to hold this, and I'm going to pull that up. See how I pulled that, and that wire come up? you got to hold this wire down, or it's going to fly up every time, okay? Then I'm going to pull that wire back, and I'm going to do one loop, two loops, and then... The last video I did, and that's not focusing real well, but anyway, I'm gonna helicopter it out and it should pop right off. Her. See, come right off. Now, all we have to do now, it looks like a pretty good tool, is I'm gonna run this thread down the body a little oh. run this thread down the body a little bit. And what that's going to do, it's going to tie in that wire to where it stays where I want it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, this little whip tie, this little tool right here, will save you a lot of time. It's hard to learn, but trust me. All right, I'm going to show you how to use this. So you got a hook right here. You got the hook up here, and then you got the hoop that loop down here. All right, we're going to hook it just like that. We're going to wrap it around the, the loop. We're going to turn it sideways. All right, we want this thread up here parallel with the fly. Then we're going to wrap it about three or four times to... Three. If you need more, just give yourself more. Four. 
All right, slide it down, pop the loop out, pull the hook up, and you've tied it. And I'm gonna do it one more. I like to do it one more time. I do it twice. Pull me out just slight, and uh, pay attention to what I'm doing here. One, two, three, and then down, out, pull it back up, and we just tied the zebra midge just about that quick. That's about as fast as a hiccup. Right. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see if we can get it up here to where you can see it. If it'll focus it. Let's get this light off right here a little bit. Can you see that? All right, anyway, that's a zebra image. It is about that. About that big. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. All right. That's pretty good. You want it to be like a carrot. You want it thick at the top, at the top, thin at the bottom. Okay, and I'm again. I'm Jimmy, Matt, the Mad Scout, and most of my videos are not going to be just tie flying. It's going to be other things that I do, or a rant sometimes, whatever. And uh, I'm a vet. I'm almost 17 years in. I got injured in no fire. And uh and on that note, all you veterans out there, find you something to get into, get your mind off of where we was at and what we was doing. I'm gonna keep doing this and uh, it's gonna be like my tail end of my videos. I'm gonna start harping at the vets and because I am a vet, so I can harp at you. So you can tell me kiss your butt or whatever, and I'm still gonna do it. But uh I love you all and uh I guess this is a wrap and uh, peace out.